Sydney the koala is an orphan. The joey was rescued earlier this year after his mother was hit by a car and died at Griffin, north of Brisbane. Sydney's story is not unusual and his carer says he's one of the lucky ones, with once thriving koala numbers continuing to tumble. You could go almost anywhere, uh, anyone's backyard, any school, anyone would, would have koalas there in the trees. It doesn't happen anymore. Volunteers have been tagging and tracking koalas to find out more about their behaviour. The Koala Action Group says the biggest single factor leading to their demise is a loss of habitat. Just be a bit more koala aware. You can actually um, you know, live with koalas quite well. When the local councillors and local politicians hear from the people in the community, uh, it, it seems to have the most effect. Members of the group will rally at Cleveland's Toonda Harbour tomorrow to protest against a development. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's so much development occurring in this area and it's slated for further development. So it is a concern to us that these koalas will eventually be lost. The Redland City area, like the Moreton Bay Regional Council area, used to be a hotspot for the species. Estimates now put the number of koalas left in the Moreton Bay region as low as 500. They're our icon. Um, we need to try and save them. Tiffany Turnbull, QUT News.